Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be finding out what happens if you get inside of the escaped convict's stilt house. So in case you guys have no idea what I'm talking about here, we're dealing with two escaped criminals off of the chain gang, Mr. Black and Mr. White. Now these two characters are featured in a side mission called The Ties That Bind Us. Uh, Mr. White's first name is Wendell White and Mr. Black's first name is Samson Black. And Wendell and Samson were actually attacked by a farmer named Jimmy Holdeker. And they fought in self-defense, which resulted in Jimmy dying from a heart attack. Although it mattered very little as Judge Amory was bribed and sentenced both of them to prison on murder charge. However, Wendell and Samson managed to escape from prison in Rhodes and camped out on the outskirts of the settlement, which is where Arthur or John can encounter them for the first time. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Oh, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come right. on. And I'll right. tall Come you, on. you lily liver. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay, even for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Now, the first time you encounter them, you have to find all the wanted posters for them. And there's five of them scattered across roads that you need to take care of. And that is pretty easy. But it's also an important part of this mission if you'd like to see this secret outcome. So in order to be able to see what's inside of this house, first you need to have a better idea of why it's important. So essentially what happens in this mission is if you burn the posters, you essentially set these two characters free. And from there, what basically happens is they journey across the Red Dead Redemption 2 map, but they eventually end up in the very northeastern part of the map, north of Strawberry, and they live in this little stilt cabin. And when you encounter them, this is what happens. I tell you, we survived. Hey, you all right, mister? Can we, uh, can we help you? I'm fine. Oh, I know you two. Hey, hey look who it is. Oh. I barely recognized you boys on account of you not trying to kill each other. Yeah, well, somebody learned his manners, finally. So you boys didn't run away. Now, nobody looking out here. I reckon we're, we're okay. Uh, all right. But the law's pretty, well, it's pretty vigorous these days. I told you we should leave, but did you want to listen? Oh, no. Mr. High and Mighty, he don't listen to no oh, one. Oh, would you just shut up? I will not. Uh, I will not shut up. You know what? You'll shut up when I shut you up. Oh, that's real funny. I cannot believe it. I'm stuck out here with only you to talk to. I get a better conversation from the goddamn trees. I know. I've seen you talking to them. They should have hanged you for being a moron. You're an unkind man, Mr. Black. Hey. Oh, let me in. Let, let me in. Open the door. Come on, let me in. I'll kill you myself. Go away. Let me in. I, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Now let me in. Go away. I'm so, I'm. I'm I'll make dinner again. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. Say you're sorry again. I'm real sorry. We should move on. You're always saying that. 
Our luck is gonna run out. Well, may as well run out while we're happy. I just... I'm jumpy. I know, Wendell. Me too. Ah. Uh... Oh, wait. I think someone's there. Check. I ain't checking. To just keep your head down. So long story short, Wendell White and Samson Black, even though at times they seem like they hate each other, seems to have cleaned themselves up and now live in a very isolated cabin in the northeastern part of the map. However, something that I was particularly interested in uh, when I first made this video was the fact that the ladder didn't reach the ground and that there seemed no way to get up in the cabin. Even though they clearly went inside, you could even throw dynamite bottles inside. And I said to myself during that video that we would likely have to wait until PC in order to see what is on the inside. Now, I still am going to be curious to see what's on the inside when they are both up there. But we do have the ability to get inside of the cabin. And this is how it's done. So we need to flash back to the very first part of this mission. Instead of burning the wanted posters, you need to turn both of the criminals in to the sheriff. Now, that's pretty easy. In order to do that, all you have to do is, instead of burning the posters, pull out your lasso and hogtie both of them. And then bring both of them to the sheriff. Now this will actually get you $40 and it's actually not the recommended way I would go about this mission because you will lose out on a lot of cool encounters. However, if you are interested in the money, then that's the way to go about doing it. However, if you do decide to turn them in, money aside, this does set off a chain reaction of events because they will no longer be able to live in that stilt home north of Strawberry. And what this does is it gives us the opportunity to actually go check it out. Now, big thanks to uh, a user on Facebook who messaged me, Corey, who suggested that I could do this and showed that it actually worked. I had no idea that this could even happen. So once again, big thanks to him. And if you guys have any suggestions for future videos or mysteries that you would like me to tackle, uh, drop me a line on my Facebook page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. So anyways, now that you know all of that, if we actually return to the cabin, you will notice that there is one big difference. Obviously, Samson Black and Wendell White are not there, but also the ladder is down and we can get inside of the cabin. How cool is that? So I was a little bit disappointed, even though we could go up inside, that there wasn't more to this cabin. That seems to be the only difference is the ladder extends all the way to the ground. Now, upon entering on the inside, it seems as if it's a pretty normal cabin that whoever lives here is trying to live in isolation and they live a pretty simple life. There's just a couple of provisions in here. There's some meat. There's some herbivore bait, stuff like that. Predator bait, moonshine. You can actually sleep in the bed if you want. But other than that, there's not a lot of interesting things in here, which is kind of disappointing, but it, it does sort of solve the mystery. So my guess is that because Wendell White and Samson Black were never able to escape, thanks to your help, that whoever lives here is just living a normal life. You can kind of see it looks like a normal cabin, and they have chosen to bring the ladder all the way to the ground, which allows us to get up there. However, once again, if you choose to save Samson Black and Wendell White, they have decided for whatever reason to cut the ladder off. Now, maybe Rockstar did this on purpose so that we couldn't go up there and mess with them. I mean, you clearly can. Again, you can throw stuff through the windows and whatnot. But I guess it does sort of solve the mystery. And now we can say that we know what's inside of this cabin that eventually belongs to uh, Samson Black and Wendell White, the escaped criminals and convicts from Roads in chapter four. Now, I'm still going to be interested when and hopefully if this game comes out on PC to see what actually goes on inside of the cabin if you do allow them to live there. So I will be interested to see what happens then. But for now, my curiosity has been solved. And now we officially know what's inside of this cabin in Red Dead Redemption 2, which is officially known as the Hilt Shack. Uh, and you can see just how far to the northeast 
this place is. Now, the one final experiment I wanted to do with this place, I wanted to see what would happen if you slept in the bed. Like, would the owner return and freak out that you were sleeping in his house? And uh, no, nothing happens. You can just use it as a normal cabin and a normal bed to sleep in. And that's kind of cool. So if you were looking for a unique place to sleep, well, this is one that you could probably take advantage of and use. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating on this video. That'd be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.